This is John, and this is Drake, and we are here at the brand new, just opened, Corona Beef in Streeterville. Saturday, November 4th, uh, it's the grand opening of the location, but we are here at a very special event um, with Bona to try out some of their food a little bit early. Yes, and that location, just if you're wondering, is 613 North McClurg Court in Chicago, Illinois. Right down the street from uh, Navy Pier. Yep, not too far. So if you're in Chicago, if you're a tourist, or if you're a regular, come on down. The new bone is open, and uh, we got some of their food, and we're going to let you know how it is. All right, so on my plate, we have the beef sandwich. I got mine what they call baptized, uh, which is essentially dunk the entire sandwich, make it as wet and soggy as possible, because that's the way I like it. Value meal, serve the fries, and this Pepsi. Right. So I take mine with sweet peppers. You can get yours with hot peppers. You can get it with uh, cheese, I'm sure, but why would you? Um, and then if you would want it red, then they'll put marinara sauce on it as well. Uh, so here is the sandwich in all of its glory. See all those pretty peppers? So let's go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> I do love myself a good baptized beef. One of the things you do have to worry about is things falling out. <laughs> yes. There's a give and a take. A very sloppy sandwich. <laughs> but it's part of the fun. Yeah. Right. And if that's how you like it, it's worth it. Absolutely. So right off the bat, I'll go off and say, this is what a beef sandwich should be. Right. It's <laughs> soggy all the way through. like. There's a little bit of dryness here at the top, but otherwise this thing is like ready to fall apart, which is everything that I look for in a beef sandwich. The meat seasoned really well. The juice from the bread makes the uh, bread a lot saltier. Um, and the peppers, of course, my personal preference is the sweet peppers, but the hot peppers and the sweet peppers add a lot to the sandwich as well. Uh, personally, I enjoy the ones with the hot peppers. Um, and I like cheese on high as well. No cheese. No cheese. So, that's the bone of beef sandwich. Uh, you can get it, I believe, in five, seven, and 10 inches. If you don't remember my uh, humble brag from last time I ate bone of beef, I said this is a 10 out of 10 sandwich. I stick by what I say because Italian beefs don't get better than a salty, soggy Italian beef. Now, I got the beef and jardinarian pepper pizza. I'm not going to ruin this or change it in any way. I just want to taste what it is that's currently sitting in front of me. And I gotta tell you, it looks amazing. Look at that pizza. See that pizza there? Well, one of the things I thought might happen was that they wouldn't put enough meat on this, but I've gotten meat in every bite so far. And peppers. That's good. If you look at the back of this crust, you can see there's kind of like some like lines on there, probably made from the whatever service the oven was on there. But it's nice and crisp. The marinara sauce is just the right spice. The crust is crisp. It's not soggy. It's not too hard. So it's like really the, the consistency that you want. Plenty of cheese on this. Not worried about not having enough cheese. I'm sure you could ask for more cheese if you wanted to. The, uh, the peppers and the beef, amazing on a sandwich. Equally as amazing on a pizza. If you're a fan of like putting red sauce on your Italian beef sandwich, then this probably isn't too far away of what you're already having. Uh, I gotta tell you, the only thing I miss eating it on a pizza is the fact that it's not down. I would just like to thank 
Warner B for inviting us out here to their opening. Thanks for uh, serving us a, a, a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely glad I uh, decided to come because this is amazing. Yes, it is. Thank you to the uh, Buona Valente family. Family owned business, what, four brothers? Yes, and we've met a couple of them here tonight. They're wonderful people. Um, it's good to know that the brothers and the family themselves have such a vested interest in the franchise. Um, this isn't, even though it's an expanding business, you still see kind of like that family environment. And I really appreciate that in a place like this. If there's a Buona in your area, please go out and try it. You won't be disappointed, I guarantee it. And if you are, especially in the Chicagoland area, downtown, near Navy Pier, just straight down the street from Navy Pier, uh, it's a good spot to go to. It's not, it's not it's going to be as expensive as some of those restaurants inside of Navy Pier. It's kind of like a fast casual, kind of in between, uh, like a cheap fast food place and a sit down place. But the quality is up there. Yes, it is. You won't be disappointed at all. Not at all. Try out a bona near you.